Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Earl, and welcome back to another episode of Earl Sports Bets. And today, we got another NHL slate we're going to be going over. It is only six games. We got five games we're going to be going over. One of them is, of course, our premium play over at picksandparlays.net. So, uh, before we get into the video, before we get into the recap of what happened yesterday, you guys know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified each and every time we come out of the video here at Earl Sports Bets. You can also follow us on our social medias at Bets Earl on Twitter, at Earl Sports Bets on Instagram. We also have a Discord chat if you guys want to join that. The link to that is in the description of the video below, as well as our merch if you want to help support the channel that, that way. Uh, you can also check that out in the link in the description of the video down below. And as you guys may know, we are running our contest. All you guys do, got to do is give your best bet for this video. You can do it for the MLB video and the NBA video as well. And the person who wins the most units by the end of the month, and you guys have plenty of time, it's still, I think, 24 or 25 days uh, left in this contest. Uh, the leaders have plus 5.15 units, Isaiah Cora, 7 and 3. Andreas Mani is 4.55 units up. So, uh, still plenty of time and plenty of chances to enter that contest and try to win some money. It's free to enter, so why not considering just put a comment in the comment section below. Uh, let us know who you guys are on tonight and uh, you can win some money. All right, NHL, it's been rough lately uh, for our video picks. On our premium side, we're 8-2 and two in our last we've got uh, last 10. We've gotten 7 straight, correct? But on our video plays, they've we've kind of struggled a little bit here uh, recently. We went, had another not great last, night last night, 1-3. Uh, Montreal and Ottawa goes over um, with... I forgot how much time left. It was it, Ottawa scored five one uh, to make it five to one late in the third period to push that game over. It was frustrating. Um, Rangers they fought a lot. Uh, they didn't get the win though. That was a very entertaining first period though. Uh, it was it was really nice seeing some fighting there, uh, and it was cool even as an Islander fan seeing all these teams gather around. Uh, a single cause to basically say screw Tom Wilson and all that fun stuff. So it was a good thing to see last night with the fighting in uh, that game. Uh, 100 penalty minutes in the first period. It was a uh, entertaining first period. And then, um, then the hockey game broke out and uh, Washington dominated that plain and simple. Uh, Washington just looked really good last night. TJ Oshie had a hat trick. Uh, he looked good as well, but uh, Hey, we took a shot at the Rangers last night. One thing we did not expect, though, is those Nashville Predators lost 4-2 to two to the Columbus Blue Jackets. That was rather surprising. We had them in regulation at a minus 125. They obviously lost straight up. That was not a good play at all. That was a rough, rough loss there. Our only win yesterday uh, was the St. Louis-Anaheim game going under 5.5 for video plays. We also had... Uh, the Winnipeg and Calgary game going under five and a half for our premium play yesterday. That cashes. So if you guys want to check out our NHL premium play, the link to that is in the description of the video below. Picksandparlays.net. But let's try to make some money on some video plays today. This is going to be a tough, tough slate. Really looking at it. I do like three plays. Uh... It, today feels more of like a totals attack day than uh than it would aside because our our smallest favorites are minus two twenty today, and we're gonna see that a lot until the playoffs start, which is unfortunate. Uh, so it's gonna be most likely just take shots with dogs and or look at totals. Um, but we're gonna start it off here: New York Islanders versus the New York Ranger or New Jersey Devils. Wow, I'm looking down at the uh, next game. Uh, minus 240 for the Isles, plus 214 for the Devils. Uh, projected goalies are most likely Mackenzie Blackwood and Simeon Varlamov for this matchup. Varlamov has looked great this year, 19, 10, and 4. A 930 save percentage, 2.02 goals allowed per game. Blackwood, 13, 16, and 4. 902 save percentage, 3.04 goals allowed per game. He had a strong start to the year and has, uh, has really dropped off recently. Uh, for this game, I'm going to lay off 
Uh, it would be a lean probably towards the under. The under has hit five of six times when these two teams have played. But the Islanders have gone over in their last two games. New Jersey's 6-3 and 1 to the over in their last 10 games. These two teams are New Jersey specifically hasn't been playing much defense lately. Uh, and they've been scoring some, a little bit of goals as well. Um, I have no I have no interest in playing this game. Uh, I want to see the Islanders get a win first before um, I try to attack them at a minus 240 or a plus 100 on the puck line. No thank you there. Uh, I'm going to pass on this game. Uh, I see better options on this card. It's only it's a small card, and it's a very difficult card. So uh, I just don't see any way to attack this one here. The next game is the New York Rangers and the Boston Bruins. And this is our premium play over on picksandparlays.net. If you guys want to check that out, the link to that is in the description of the video down below. Uh, but we'll move on to our next game here. The Pittsburgh Penguins take on the Bo uh, Buffalo Sabres. Minus 325 for the Penguins plus 284 for the Sabres over under six goals for this one. Uh, projected goalies are most likely Tristan Yari and Michael Hauser. Hauser's not looked bad. Uh, he went 2 0, 940 save percentage, 2.4 goals allowed per game versus those New York Islanders. Uh, he looked good doing it. Um, on the other side, Tristan Yari has had a pretty decent year 24, 9, and Three and nine eleven save percentage, two point seven one goals allowed per game this season. Uh, and for this one, we are we do have a play on this one, and we got this. Uh, I got this yesterday at minus one hundred five. I still don't mind it at minus one eleven. We're taking the over six goals between the Buffalo Sabers and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, the Sabers have gone over in their last four games and eight of their last ten. And I, I think this is a good over spot. Uh, I think going on, uh, looking at the rest of the season, teams that are eliminated, I expect to play more overs with them. And that's strictly because if you're playing defense during the times where you're competitive or you still have a shot at the playoffs or all that, players are more likely to jump in front of shots and create more, uh, less opportunities for scoring. I'm sorry, if you're eliminated like the Buffalo Sabres are, I don't see them jumping in front of many shots, especially those 100-mile-an-hour shot, slap shots uh, from the blue line. So I like the over in this spot. I think that we're going to see some goals from the Penguins. We're going to see some goals from the Sabres. And uh, I think we're going to see a lot of offense in this game. And we're going to see an over six goals between the Sabres and the Penguins. Our next game here is going to be the Blackhawks and the Hurricanes, minus 282. For the Hurricanes, plus one, uh, plus 249 for the Blackhawks. Over under six goals for this one. And we're taking the same approach to this one. Uh, the the Chicago Blackhawks are a team that's mailed it in. Uh, they're eliminated. They're, they're not making the playoffs. And uh, they're not playing much defense right now. They've gone over in seven of their last ten games, including their last four. Kevin Lankinen is protracted in net against Peter Morazic. Lankinen has looked awful, awful, awful in net so far or recently. I believe he uh, he's given up at least three goals in eight straight games and 11 out of 12 or something like that. Uh, it, uh, and it could either be him or it could be Malcolm Subban, potentially, which he hasn't looked particularly well either. And this is just a Blackhawks team that's kind of just given up. Um, and I see goals in this game. I see a lot of offense, and I see a spot where uh, the Hurricanes once again dominate this game. I can see this game being a 5-2, 6-2, 6-1 type of game. So uh, I think potentially this can be an over by the Hurricanes by themselves. So we're going over the total here of six goals between the Blackhawks and the Hurricanes. Um, so that's where I'm looking for this game. Our next game is the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Montreal Canadiens. Minus 224 Leafs, plus 197 for the Canadiens. Over under 5.5 goals for this one. And it'd be a lean towards the under in this game. They've gone under in 5 of their 8 matchups. Uh, the Leafs have gone uh, under in 4 of their five last 5 games, with the other one being a push. So this is a spot where... I think the under could be in play. Plus 110, it looks really nice for that. But I don't really trust this uh, uh, Canadian team on a back-to-back. -back. Uh, it could be Jake Allen. It could also be Caden uh, Permu. 
So uh, you got to keep an eye out on who the goalie is for them tonight uh, for that game. So no action on this one. Uh, once again, it's just a it's just a tough card. Our final game to, though tonight is the Vancouver Canucks and the Edmonton Oilers minus two seventy for the Oilers plus two thirty nine for the Canucks over under of six goals for this team uh, for this game. And looking at this, we're we're most likely getting Mike Smith and Thatcher Demko. And the way I look at it is, if I'm going to be laying more than minus one hundred and fifty, there better be a pretty good reason why. Uh, and for this reason, this game, I see a good reason why. Uh, well, for starters, Vancouver's mailed it in. They've lost their last six. They've not looked good doing it. Edmonton has won their last three games. They've, they've played good hockey. They've won seven of their last ten. They've played really good down the stretch. Mike Smith has looked amazing in net. Connor McDavid looks like an MVP. Uh, he's on pace for his 100 points. He's going to go for that. I think he's going to get the 100 points. He's going to be the MVP this year. He is the best player in hockey, hands down. No questions about it. I really like Edmonton in this spot. And I'm going to go on the three-way regulation line. I know it's a minus 170. I'm laying it, though. This is the first time all season that I think I've given out a play higher than plus one, or minus 165. And it's on these Oilers here, minus 170 in regulation. Uh, this is just a spot where Edmonton's going to dominate this game. I see no doubt about that. I think Edmonton, if I had to pick, honestly, if I was someone who laid chalk, I would lay the minus 270 like that. Plain and simple. This Edmonton Oilers team is playing phenomenal hockey at this moment. And the Vancouver Canucks are playing anything but. So, this is a 100% Edmonton Oilers spot. Uh, you can lay the minus 120 on the puck line. You can lay the minus 270. You can lay the team total over 3.5. You can lay the regulation line. If your book offers it, you can lay the minus two and a half, minus three and a half. I see this as a blowout game. And I'm taking Edmonton in regulation, minus 170 in this game. Uh, I just see that. I, I just don't see this Edmonton team losing at all tonight. And I know everyone says that with certain teams. Oh, there's no way that this team. Could... There's... Edmonton is not losing tonight. I can promise it. If Edmonton loses tonight, I will give you guys the next three for the next three days my premium plays on the on the videos. So I will put that out there now. If Edmonton loses this game tonight, I will not exclude my premium plays for the next three hockey videos. There you go. That's how confident I am that tonight. So we're taking the Edmonton Oilers in regulation minus one seventy uh, to get the win versus the Vancouver Canucks. All right, going over our plays for today, we're looking at the overs in both Buffalo 